So I want to play a clip. Don Lemon is with us and get your thoughts. Uh, here's something. Here's some of the stuff that uh, Kanye West and the president said. Listen to this. If he don't look good, we don't look good. This is our president. He has to be the freshest, the flyest, the flyest planes, the best factories. And we have to make our core be in power. We have to bring jobs into America. I don't answer questions in simple sound bites. You, you are tasting a fine wine. It has multiple <laughs> notes to it. The liberal will try to control a black person through the concept of racism because they know that we are very proud, emotional people. So when I said I like Trump to like someone that's liberal, they'll say, Oh, but he's racist. You think racism can control me? Oh, that don't stop me. That's an invisible wall. Would you build a trap door that if you mess up and you accidentally something happens, you fall and you end up next to the Unabomber? Let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. Yeah, amen. Yes. He did most of the talking in the Oval Office. Uh, Don, what did you think? I, Wolf. I listen. I don't. There, I have no animosity for um, Kanye West. I'm just going to be honest, and I may get in a lot of trouble for it. I feel actually feel bad for him. What I saw was a minstrel show today. Him in front of all of these white people, mostly white people, embarrassing himself, and embarrassing Americans, but mostly African Americans, because every, every one of them is sitting either at home or with their phones watching this cringing. I couldn't even watch it. I had to turn the television off because it was so hard to watch. Him sitting there being used by the President of the United States, the President of the United States exploiting him, and I don't mean this in a disparaging way, exploiting someone who needs help, who needs to back away from the cameras, who needs to get off stage, who needs to deal with his issues. And if anyone around him cares about him, the family that he mentioned today, or whomever, his managers, maybe some other people who are in the music business who know him, they need to grab him and snatch him up and get Kanye together because Kanye needs help. And this has nothing to do with being liberal or conservative. This is to do with honesty. And we have to stop pretending, sitting here on these CNN panels or on whatever network panels, and pretending like this is normal. And let's have this conversation about Kanye West and what he said. Who cares? Why are you sending cameras to the Oval Office for Kanye West? Did you send cameras to the Oval Office and carry it live when Common visited the White House? Common visited the White House and did a beautiful um, poem, spoken word. It talked about how black people are kings and queens, how we need to rise up and do better. He didn't disparage anybody. He didn't speak in non sequiturs. He didn't do anything awful. And you know, the only people who criticized him and the only people who really covered it were Sean Hannity and his band of hypocrites who are now, uh, who, who are now applauding Kanye West, the same people that many uh, in that group called the N-word because of Taylor Swift and because of George Bush. And now all of a sudden, he is the person who represents the African American community. He doesn't. We need to take the cameras away from Kanye and from a lot of this craziness that happens in the White House because it is not normal and we need to stop sitting here pretending that it's normal. This was an embarrassment. Kanye's mother is rolling over in her grave. I spoke to one of her friends today, or texted with one of her friends today from Chicago, Donda's friends. I used to live there. I know him. She said, Donda would be, would, would be embarrassed by this. She would be terribly disturbed by this. And Kanye has not been the same since his mother died. He kept talking today about, oh, uh, I put the hat on and the hat made me feel strong and wearing a cape. He needs a father figure. He needs someone to help him and to guide him, and he needs a hug more than anything. Kanye, back away from the cameras, go get some help, and then come back and make your case. Nobody, if you want to be conservative, if you want to support Donald Trump, that is your business. But as you're doing it, have some sense with it. Make sense. Educate yourself. You know, you know Don, we just played a one-minute clip of that, uh, of that exchange but it really went on for more than half an hour if you watch the Talking whole thing. Talking about hydrogen, the last time we really talked about hydrogen, seriously, oh, the, you remember that? The Hindenburg. So, Kanye, come on, man. Like, stop embarrassing yourself. And it's not even that. We're doing it because everyone wants to watch him. We're watching someone's demise in front of our eyes. 
and, and, and the president as well. The office is sacred. Can you imagine if President Barack Obama had Kanye West or any rapper or any person, entertainer in the Oval Office who said MF? Can you imagine? Our, everybody's heads would be exploding, not just over at Fox News, not just the conservatives. Everybody's heads would be expo exploding saying, what's happening? And this is not the first time that Donald Trump has denigrated that office. He brought Ted Nugent in, who uh, d said some very disparaging things about the former president. And uh, you Google it, and you'll see. Had him there in the Oval Office. So this is not the first time that he's had someone that denigrates that office, that didn't live up to the respect of that office in there. And today was another example of that. He is disrespecting the Oval Office more than Kanye did because he invited Kanye in and exploited it.